but people gonna look at you like you got to be the biggest damn fool yeah. because you made yeah. 2.4 billion mm -hmm. and you lost your entire career for 22,000. Yeah. yeah, you're right about that. How big a fool must you be? You hustling backwards. Now you tell me the situation where you say, you know what? Hey, check this out. Ocho, bet 2.4 million for a chance to win 22,000. And people stop, stop saying, well, they have gambling. They bet you can't, you uh, can't bet. I don't know what it was, but when I was in there, they had a big sign that right. when you walked in the room, no gambling, no or gambling. No games. Yeah. yeah, no gambling. You want to bet on the ponies? You don't bet on football if you're a football player. Don't bet on basketball if you're an NBA yeah, player. Yeah. How hard is that to comprehend? People drive me crazy when they say stuff. Mm -hmm. Well, they got gambling and they lot these the well, well, stop having these parties. Stop. Stop. Shannon Sharp goes off on John C. Porter for being banned from the NBA for gambling. I want you to hear exactly what Shannon Sharp and Chad Johnson had to say. And then I'll come back with my comments. The NBA announced Wednesday that J John T. Porter, I did not know this, but he's the brother of Michael Porter Jr. For what? the Denver Nuggets. Yes, that's his really? brother. Has been banned for life from the league due to his violation of gambling rules. Got banned for life for $20,000. Ocho, in his NBA playing career, he made basically $2.4 million. In gambling on the NBA, he made about $22,000. You see what I say, Ocho? You hustling backwards. Now, you tell me the situation where you say, you know what? Hey, check this out. Ocho, bet $2.4 million for a chance to win $22,000. Man, I, I don't understand it. I don't understand it. I think I think that's an addiction. I think that's an addiction at that point. I think that's an addiction at that point when you're actually playing the game and betting on the game that you're actually playing in. I can see if it's betting on other sports or betting in other areas of, or aspects of life. Yes. That you can bet on, but your own games that you're playing in. Just to earn a little extra. Now I, I understand. I in in a sense, I want to see it from his perspective as far as you know what I don't make what? enough. What I don't make as much, Mocho? I'm, I'm, I don't make enough. I don't make as much money as some of these other other fools are making. And I need I need a little extra on the side. Okay. Well, guess I'm, what? I'm, I'm, you're I'm not gonna just, be I'm making nothing you. what they're making now. Oh, guess yeah, what you're yeah, gonna yeah, be you, doing? You're right. you about to go get your regular, you about to go nothing wrong with that. You're right. But people gonna look at you like you got to be the biggest damn fool yeah. because you made yeah. 2.4 billion mm -hmm. and you lost your entire career for 22,000. Yeah. yeah, you're right about that. How big a fool must you be? Yeah. Hey, matter of fact, you talk about 2.4, slice that in half too, baby. Okay, one point. Slice, slice, slice that oh. two, slice, slice that in half. Well, how much are we taking off this 20? How, how much are we taking off this 22? So you gotta pay taxes on that too. So oh, how yeah. much are we slicing off that? I mean, it's, you know what's funny? It's bad, it's, it's bad all the way around. Either way, it's bad all the way around. I mean, him actually gambling, and obviously you know the reason why he was doing it. It's only because he wasn't it's making the thrill, other players make. It's that's Ocho, ridiculous, man. It's the thrill, Ocho. It's the thrill. Why you think? Why you? Why you think Michael Jordan go and bet a hundred thousand a hand? He went too big because uh, uh, the, the only thing, the only thing that gives you that rush, yeah, of the the sport that you played right. is that because uh, it's like you don't know what's gonna happen. You like you said, oh, hey. Hey, you you playing blackjack and yeah. you wait, okay? Woo hoo hoo! What yeah, I got? Yeah, what I got? Yeah. They put that they put that face card up. Come mm -hmm. on, Ace! Come on, Ace! Come on, Ace! Come on! Give it to me. That's the only thing that give you that rush. Right, 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 bro. Ah oh, man, that's make it make sense. And people stop, stop saying, "Well, they have gambling. They bet you can't. You oh. can't bet." I don't know what it was, but when I was in there, they had a big sign that right. when you walked in the room, no gambling, no other gambling, other games. Yeah. yeah, no gambling. You want to bet on the ponies? You don't bet on football if you're a football player. Don't bet on basketball if you're an NBA yeah, player. Yeah, how hard is that to comprehend? I mean, people, you know what people, people, people drive me crazy when they say stuff. Mm -hmm. Well, they got gambling and they lot these, the, well, well, stop having these parties. Stop. Stop. Yeah. It, 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 listen, I mean, of course the public is going to make excuses for them. Talk about we have sponsorship, we have deals, we have all this, all these other things that are going on. But as players, if they say you can't gamble, you can't gamble. And I don't think it starts now. I think the gambling stems from you doing it long before you even made it. Long before you even made it, because anything that's an addiction, when you get to the pinnacle of your childhood dream, you made it to the NBA, you made it to the NFL, or whatever sport you might play, if it says there is no gambling, it should be very easy not to gamble. It's the fact that at this point, even though you made it, now it's become an addiction that started long before you even made it. That's the, I think, I think that's the problem. Ocho, we all did stuff. 
I mean, shoplifted, stole or something. Damn, damn. But huh? you know, but you know, but you know, when you got to be an adult, you yeah. can't go in stores and nah. shoplift. You know, you can't take things. So this notion where he had this, no, he did not have this problem because right. he had no money. Right. What the hell he gambling on? Well, you know, you to play small, get like me with the quarters. You know, you got you, you yeah, play okay. little small well, stuff. Well, with get, your homeboy. Get, get like rest of America and go out and get another job. That's what you have to do. That's that's to get like he talking about, right? That's what you're talking yeah. about. You, you, hey, matter of fact, hold on. Yeah. Did y'all play that when you was little? Remember the quarters? Get like yeah. me. Y'all yeah, might yeah, have had yeah, a different yeah. name for it though. Yeah, yeah. We play ahead, we flip the court, get like me. Yeah, okay, 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 okay. Yeah, okay. for sure. I'm like, bro. That's yeah, what he, I don't. That's what I don't get. Tripping. I said to say, people got upset at me for what I said about Calvin Ridley, and I'm glad he was able to uh, to come back and, right, and, right. and you know he got. But I'm like, bro, think about this. He he lost eleven million one year to try to win fifteen hundred two thousand dollars. Do y'all understand eleven? So if I gave it, chat, if I gave you ten eleven million dollars, I said right. here's eleven million, but I want you to wager. To try to win twenty five hundred, to try to win three thousand, y'all will look at me like I'm a damn fool. Mm. So wh- how y'all looking at these MB- these these professional athletes that know they can't gamble, make the kind of money that they're making? Ocho, even if he make it, how many people in the real world you think is gonna make two point four million dollars in their lifetime? Yeah, he's made that on a couple of years. Yeah, so nobody's gonna have empathy for him. I'm gonna give somebody. I'm gonna give the chat. Eleven million dollars. Now I need you guys to wager that to try to win three thousand. You know what? I like y'all. I want you to. Wa- you know what? I like y'all so much. I want you to put your ten to eleven million up to try to win a hundred thousand. How big of a fool must you be? You know, at times when you it have says money. you can't get on yeah. your. It yeah. says you can't. Yeah, and you gonna bet? You take the under. You betting on your own team? At least say you know I don't want no part of this. I don't want to. He bet, oh, he take the over, take the, and, and the guy he gave the information to, he won 1.8. He won 22,000. You lost your career giving somebody else some information. And guess what? The bookie dimed him out. He said, he telling me with the game that he was hurt. Whoa, 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 That's whoa, what's whoa. being reported. The bookie snitched on him? Boy, when them feds come, they'll make you tell them everything they need to know. Oh, your social security exactly. number. Oh, oh, you, oh, they, you they, damn they, right. Oh, they pinched him. Okay, okay, okay. I was going to say, they I did more than pinch him. 15. Okay, well, here, here it is. His name is Yes, Sir. They can do that? I'm going to tell them everything. I'm going to say, let me tell y'all what happened when Ocho was in the third grade. There's this, uh, we had this teacher named Miss Thompson. He flattened her tires. You Wait. know what? I'm going to tell them everything they need to know. Hold on. 15 what? They threatened him with 15 what? Yields. And they said, well, I can't. Hey, I, Ocho, I swear to God, I had a homeboy. He told the judge, gave him 25 years. He said, judge, I can't do all that time. The judge told him, say, do what you can. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how much you can do, but do what you can. <laughs> <laughs> he said, I can't do he said, judge, I can't do all that time. The judge told him, do what you can. Whatever you can do, just that, just do that. Hey, hey, that, hey, that's hey, that's funny. Now that's <laughs> hey, that's hey. that's funny. Just do it, just do it, just do it, just do what you can, huh? Do what you can, Ocho. <laughs> yeah, John Tay fumbled a bag, fumbled his life. He knew damn well that he shouldn't be betting on NBA games. You're going to be stupid like that. Then you bet in the game that you're in. Said you had a headache and had to leave the game early just so you can make the parlay or win some type of money. So he risked making $2.4 million to make 20000 betting games. So terrible look. Everyone's saying, well, the NBA is promoting gambling and all these apps. What's well, a billion dollar business? Gambling is going to increase the funds of the NBA, NFL, all these sports. So, of course, they're going to make partnerships with gambling and all these applications. But again, players got to know that if you're in these individual sports, if you're a basketball player, you can't bet on basketball. So he knew better than that. And he still took those chances. I didn't know he was the brother of Michael Porter Jr. of the Denver Nuggets. So in the investigations, did they talk to Michael Porter Jr.? Because if that's your brother, maybe he knew of some stuff and he maybe tried to talk him out of it. Like, look, I don't think this is a good idea. So hopefully Michael Porter Jr. doesn't come under fire. Again, I know that's your brother, but 
He may not have nothing to do with it, but just an unfortunate situation. He isn't the first athlete to bet on the same sport. It's happened a lot in the NFL, baseball, especially recently over the last few years. So you seeing all that on TV and online, I thought you would have known better. Like, let me stop before I even get started. And again, this is the biggest bag fumble in sports history or one of the biggest bag fumbles when it comes to stuff like this, the gambling portion. But you only made 22,000 betting. So I don't know if he got an issue or a problem. He got the lifetime ban. They want to try to stop all this type of stuff before it even becomes a problem in sports. And again, if you're betting on a game, changing the outcome, that's going to turn away these gambling deals that you have as well. They want to make sure that these people that are spending millions on millions betting, they want to make sure the outcome isn't predetermined. So having a player do that, leaving the game early, making an excuse just to hit on a parlay. Adam Silver had no choice but to do the lifetime ban. So hopefully this is a wake up call for a lot of athletes, a lot of people in the NBA, NFL, people that may decide, let me try to make a fake account and make some bets. Just know that they're going to catch you. Whenever there's money going in and out of your account, going from these applications, it's going to be traced back. Even if you try to get someone that you know of to do it, people are going to tell. People are always going to talk. So your best bet, don't even try to gamble. Go ahead, play your sport, try to maximize your talents and get money that way. Or worst case, bet on sports that you have nothing to do with. But again, terrible look for the NBA, but they had to do what they had to do. John T. Porter is the bag fumbler of the year. Like, subscribe, comment. What do you think about the NBA banning John T. Porter for life for gambling? I want to know your thoughts about this. Like, subscribe, comment. Peace.